Now we're going to look at some rhythm guitar. We've moved this to the key of F now, and this is a shuffle in F, not unlike like an Albert Collins kind of thing. And uh, what I'm going to show you right now is some different voicings uh, at different places on the neck where you got your one, your four, and your five kind of grouped closely together. And so therefore, you know, if you want to play low, you've got these. You want to pay, play in the mid, you've got these. You want to play a little higher, you've got some up here as well. So let's look at uh, progression number one. Before we play, I'm going to show you the one chord is the F6 that you've used before. The four chord is either this B flat seven here or the B flat nine chord. And the C9 is going to be our five chord, okay? Now for progression two that we're going to play right after that, I'm going to jump right up to this F7 chord right here in position six. It's like an open position C7 moved up to the sixth fret. And I'm going to use that as my one. And I've got options here. I can either go to the B flat nine as a four and the C9 as a five, or I could go to the B flat seven chord right there and the C7 and those are all interchangeable. So, um, you know, one time I might play the F7 here, the B flat here, and the, and the C there, or F7 and the B flat 9 and the C9. So, I want you to practice that both ways when you get to this one. So, let's start with those two choruses the first one here, the next one up here. Okay? Okay, now we're going to work on the next two progressions, uh, I guess you call it progression three and four, uh, that are moving a little higher on the neck, just a little bit. Okay, the uh, progression three has uh, F9 as the one chord, and the B flat nine and the C9, actually I just played those in the other progression as well, but they're also very close to this nine chord. So let's use this ninth chord as a one uh, for this next course. And after that, we're gonna go to this F9 chord up here. This will be our last progression. Uh, this is a great chord to know. You might recognize this as Freddie King's Hideaway. That's the break chord to the tune hideaway there. But if you move it up one step, you're in the key of F now. And it's a very, very powerful chord for, for comping or for powering a solo out, okay? So that's our one chord right there. And we're gonna play the B flat nine right next to it. And the C nine right above that up there as well. So that'll be our one, four, five for the second uh, time through this uh, progression coming up, okay? So let's try this. Thank you. 